Hello everybody! I am so excited. Today is my very first makeup tutorial video that I'm going to be doing here on camera on YouTube for you guys. I have had so many requests to do stuff like this between hair and makeup and just sharing what I know and what I've learned over the last couple of years and stuff that just has come naturally to me that I get to share this with you guys and I am seriously so excited for it. And today, just to start off nice and simple, I'm going to just be showing you guys my everyday, easy, just everyday makeup look that helps cover this hot mess that I have going on and then also just help make you feel better and shine, make your face glow a little bit. So, just going to go ahead and get started. Basically this is antioxidant drops and I have literally nothing on my face right now so this is a moisturizer but also has antioxidants in it. So it just makes your face feel amazing and just helps give your face the vitamins that it needs in it to glow and just, your, just help your skin be healthier. And just as I'm going because this is the first time I've done this, if you guys see me looking off this direction, I have a camera and this direction is my monitor just to make sure that I'm in focus and to make sure that it's still recording and whatnot. And if I'm looking like past the camera, if you can tell, it's because I have another mirror behind there. So my mirror situation is a whole thing that I'm trying to get figured out. But anyway, so I've got that all over and now I'm going to use my lip and eye moisturizing cream which is by It Works, and it just helps get rid of any puffiness underneath my eyes, and it just helps make my eyes look more awake. I have not been getting much of any sleep lately, or sleeping well at all, so this is just going to help wake me up a little bit. And like I said, it's moisturizing, and so it just goes on your eyes and on and around your lips. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a primer. So those are my two skincare things that I use every day when I do my makeup. Um, I don't use an actual moisturizer. My face is, I would say, normal to dry. The winter months, my nose gets dry. Like right now, you can probably tell how red it is. Like I've been, my nose has just been peeling nonstop. Like between us being sick and just the dry weather, it just won't stop peeling. So this next one is the Illuminating Face Oil, and it's by Wander Beauty, but it's a primer, but it also is just like illuminating. You don't really, I don't think you're going to be able to pick it up on camera. No. But it just kind of gives your face just a little bit of a glow. I love it. And it's a great primer, like it really helps my face stay on all day and keep it nice and even too. So I'm going to go in with a concealer. I always start with my concealer. So I have been, I had got this not too long ago after hearing people rave about it all over YouTube and anywhere that I follow any beauty people. It is the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer. And I've got to get this figured out, how to get this to focus. I use the color 16N Fair Light Neutral. I actually went in store and tried a bunch of different ones because the concealer that I was using previously was it was way too, I guess it was too yellow, like it was too warm of a tone and my skin is neutral but pushing the cooler tones and so it had too much yellow and whatnot in it. So this one is just a very good neutral one. I had used one that I had got as a, a little sample thing that is more of a pink tone and I almost like that more because my uh, my foundation that I use is more of a pink tone. 
and it just kind of goes with my skin more naturally without me looking too orangey or just pale but I have not actually got any of that yet but I have a ton of this concealer left so I'm gonna use it up first <laughs> cover up everything that's on my face just because this is very pale and I don't want to be that layered but I will so I'm gonna go in with my foundation now and I'm not gonna show you guys my foundation yet because I'm totally mixing two different ones one's Mary Kay and one is from I don't even know where <laughs> This is probably going to look a little bit darker because, well, it is. And you guys are going to learn that my foundation never completely matches my face. And if it does, it's because I'm only wearing a little bit of it and I don't want to wear it all day or don't want to wear a full face of makeup. <laughs> my brows now this is always this is the steps that I always take to do my makeup because it's just what works best for me um, I'm gonna go in with a powder this is the Bobbi Brown brow kit cement birch so it's got two different colors in it and I like to go in with I like to go in with the darker color towards the outer about two-thirds of my brow and then a lighter one towards the inner part and I always use a little bit of liquid of some sort and I'm using sometimes I use like a setting spray it just it depends on what I have I'm gonna use the antioxidant drop stuff that I use but more or less this just helps give it more pigment and then it helps it actually like define it a little bit more my brows are a work in progress. It's something that I'm learning how to do still. So, you guys will just have to bear with me and learn as I do with all the videos that I make. So, whatever your guys' suggestion of your favorite products are and types of products, I also struggle with finding a color that I really like that matches my, between my skin tone and my hair. Well, obviously, my hair is blonde but any blonde pencils that I ever use are either way too light that they just are not dark enough for me that I like it a little bit darker or they are too red tone <laughs> handed to and it's probably not going to pick up on camera completely that it's lighter but then I always go in with a little brush and comb them out to just make it look a little bit more natural and to lighten the color a little bit. <laughs> eyebrows microbladed is totally like a future dream of mine because you guys saw what I had to work with before this like there's not much of anything there and 
I know of so many people that have it done now, including my mom and two of my coworkers at the salon, and there's just so many people that have it done now and swear by it, love it. Now I just take a brush like this and just use this side to just kind of go through, smooth out any dark, dark spots that don't blend. I'm going to go in with my concealer and clean them up a little bit. I always just put a little bit, a little little dab of concealer on the back of my hand and then I will go in with just a flat brush and I always make sure to start on the outer part because I feel like for me that is the part that I want to be like cut clean nice cons nice lines <laughs> shadow so this is a tart palette and it's got just neutral colors in it and there's some shimmer some matte and I always go in first with just a packing brush and I'm gonna go in and put this up by my brow with just a neutral color one that's pretty close to my skin tone. So I just go in and put this up by my brow just because I usually like to have this down as a base to blend when I do anything in my crease and it just helps keep it nice and smooth. So now I'm going to go in with a shimmer color that is crystallized and I'm gonna take this towards or just on my lids themselves and it's just got a little bit of shimmer and it's great for blue eyes like as I go you guys will probably be able to see that it just really makes the color of your eyes pop without it being like too drastic like if you have more of a green eye I always say to do more of like a pinky color but still keep it natural like you can still keep towards a pink tone natural or neutral colored like this is one that's my favorite here and it's this is another tart palette but it's just it's very similar to this but has a little more of a pink tone in it and that pink just helps pull your eyes out make them pop <laughs> in with this is a detail brush and I'm going to take it with just a little bit darker it's called explore and it's just a warm brown tone and I'm going to put it right into the crease just the outer third half and I'm really going to cut that to make it a line right now and just kind of build it up a little bit till it's as dark as I want. This isn't the darkest color. Like, it's not a super dark color, so I am building it up. It has really good pigment. Like, this is true to color, but I just like to build it up just a little bit. Okay, 
So I'm going to go in with a blending brush, and this is just a crease brush. And I am going to take this with just a little, little, little dab, little dab of shadow. And then I'm just going to go in and blend it out, and I'm going to go all the way out, and then all the way in. And just go back and forth till it blends that line a little bit more. Take just a little bit more. The other side. I've noticed that if I do not add just a little bit to my brush before I start blending it, that it can almost pull it away from wherever you initially put your brush down on your eye. And so just making sure that there's a little bit on here, it just keeps it even. That's not a huge difference. It's just a little something that I've learned along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with that darker color again that I put in my crease with that same brush again. And I'm going to put just a little bit on my lid on the outer part. Just want to darken it a little bit. And this is more of like a packing brush that you can kind of just dab it on there so that it really picks up that pigment. Since I had put that other color down that has some shimmer to it, sometimes putting another color on top, it doesn't want to go on even or it might not go on as well. And so just using like a packing brush will just help ensure that it actually stays on there. So then I'm going to go back in with that blending brush and just blend it out a little bit from the outer in. <laughs> with that darker color again and go underneath my bottom lash line. Sometimes I'll go in with just a tad darker of a color underneath just because it builds up a little bit more in your crease up here and because it's a little bit of a shadow than it does underneath. So I'm just taking a light brown color and just a little bit of that. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner and so many people think that this is crazy. I showed this to both of my sisters on vacation and they were like, what? Like I never even realized that and loved it and I did it on both of them too. So this is a green eyeliner. It's kind of hard to see. It's a deep green, forest green. There it is. And this, I don't use much eyeliner when I just do a simple makeup look and so this just helps, again, make my blue eyes pop and make my eyeliner just look or my eyes just, yeah, you know what I'm saying. One trick that I don't know if I've ever actually told you guys on my Facebook lives or anything when I'm doing my eyeliner, because I see so many people struggle with this all the time and watch people do it when they do their makeup. I don't know. I learned this in high school from a girlfriend and it truly, truly works. So I'll just take my eye and pull it out so it is taut and then I'll just go in right over top of that, right over top of my lash line and just keeping it right there with it. It doesn't get too thick and it doesn't get like any funky crazy lines or anything. <laughs> look until you get your mascara on and then it pulls away from that green because I'm sure right now it looks a little crazy but you guys trust me this is like my everyday look that I do and never once have I had anybody be like what is wrong with your eyes no it's usually the other way around go in and 
curl my lashes a little bit. And then this Tarte Maneater Mascara has been my favorite for a while now. It's got a smaller brush on it that I love. And then I just go in and I blink into it and really push it against my lash line. And that just helps separate it and it helps get make your lashes full all the way through. And then I also will come down backwards on it to make sure that I get the entire length of my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna set my face and I just use this translucent powder by MAC and it makes your face feel amazing. Then I'm going to go in with some contour because otherwise I feel very washed out. This is a palette by Smashbox and it it's way bigger than I thought I was getting when I initially got it, and I love it so much. I got it last Black Friday, I believe, and I, it, I don't use it every day, but this is one that I use when I do hair and makeup for photo shoots for people. <laughs> and contour my jawline when I am contouring. It just, having that contour just, I don't know, just makes you feel a little bit better. You, can you see the difference? I can't see that side of the monitor. I don't know. I see a difference in the mirror and it makes me feel good, so that's what matters. <laughs> And then I always go in with a smaller brush. This is one that I used for packing that color on in my crease. And I take that highlighter and just put a little bit up on my brow. And then my inner corner. And I'm going to go in with another coat of mascara. And I always do it in this order because it lets your mascara set and dry a little bit before you put a second coat on. And then it just really looks like you have a second coat of mascara on that makes them darker. <laughs> Now that that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and pop something on my lips, and I have no clue what this color is. Um, I had got this $200 like winning thing off of a website online, and it's really like cheap fake makeup. Some dab it so that it's not so shiny. That way it gives your lips a little bit of color without being sticky like I don't like lip gloss usually. So 
yes this is the makeup look that I did today and this is like my everyday quick makeup I don't always wear anything on my lips and I don't always take the time to do my brows as long as I did but I always make sure that it makes my eyes pop and I make sure that like just my skin looks nice and even I hope that you guys enjoyed this and this is going to be the first of many videos that I'm going to be doing I hope and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions drop them down below and I will see you guys later. Bye.